ambush. Their numbers are overwhelming. Surrender may be our only option. No! Don't give them an inch. your move, Captain. I'm aware of that, Mr. Spock. Damn it! Your choice was valid, Captain, but highly predictable. Predictable? Since when have I ever been predictable? That is precisely why the move was predictable, Captain. Another... Captain, we have received an emergency signal from a nearby space station. Please report to the bridge at once. Shall we finish the game later, or do you concede defeat? <laughs> you should know me better than that by now, Spock. I never concede. Try reversing the phase oscillation? That's the first thing I tried. I'm stumped. What's going on down there? The radiation from those binary stars is making communications difficult, but the station appears to be in some sort of distress. Hmm. Check off readings. They're operating on emergency power and are struggling to maintain altitude. Cost? Unknown, sir. Captain, they have issued a request for immediate evacuation. Then let's help them out. Mr. Scott, prepare transporters. I wouldn't recommend it, sir. Those stars are giving off too much interference. Unless we achieve manual luck, we might fry those little guys. Then we'll get them out the old-fashioned way. Prepare my shuttle, meet me in the bay. Aye, aye, sir. Captain, in spite of your seemingly endless desire to stretch your legs, I must remind you that you are still a Starfleet captain. This is clearly a job that Mr. Scott and a few ensigns could handle. But then I'd miss all the fun. Sir, the more prudent choice would be to stay on the Enterprise and wait for a response to our hails. Oh, you're right. Lieutenant Uhura, any response to our hails? None, sir. Well, looks like I'm going. Captain, I must insist. You insist? You know what, Mr. Spock? A change of scenery might do you some good. Captain, you come with me. Your shuttle's ready, Captain. But do you think it's wise to go yourself? I'm sure me and some recruits could handle this. Don't worry, Scotty. We'll be fine. Always makes me nervous when he says that. Rocket suited up. Enterprise shuttle confirming approach at five by six. Maintain minimal safe distance. Affirmative, Enterprise. I'm picking up high levels of radiation from two binary stars. 
normal space station would have been fried by those two stars by now. What the hell are they doing out there? Captain, the station appears to be outfitted with solar collectors, but they are unlike any I have ever encountered. Mr. Sula, do you have any clue what an experimental power station would be doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Negative, Captain. Whatever they're doing, Starfleet doesn't have any record of it. Preparing for final approach. Keep the engine running, Mr. Sulu. I don't think we plan on staying on that thing for too long. I am. Officer, where is the captain of this station? This way. You must hurry. Damn it. Is this the fun you were afraid you were going to miss, Captain? Right. We need to get everyone out of here right away. Captain, we must find an alternate route. Very perceptive, Mr. Spock. Full. Anything we need to worry about right now? The readings are off the charts, sir, but I don't think so. Well, just keep an eye on it, Mr. Chekhov. Aye, aye, sir. Just need to get this door open. <laughs> can be hacked from this side. Please, you must be cursed! Quick! <sighs> I am in your debt. Formalities are unnecessary. Please proceed to the shuttle bay for immediate evacuation. Captain, I must mention that many of these crew members appear to be Vulcan. Your point. With fewer than 10,000 Vulcans remaining, I question the logic of placing them on any type of experimental power station. I question putting anybody on this thing, Mr. Spock, Vulcan or not. Agreed, sir.
Doc, you look like you need a hand. Sir, we need to disable that laser arm. Captain, the anomaly and the failure of this station are most assuredly connected. One catastrophe at a time, Mr. Spock. Stepping into that scanner. No other way around, Spock. Captain Kirk of the USS Enterprise, we have a shuttle ready for your evacuation. While we appreciate your assistance, our captain and many of our top scientists are trapped in the transporter room on the other side of the station. We cannot simply abandon them. Any suggestions, Mr. Spock? If we were able to reach them, Mr. Scott may then be able to obtain a manual lock on our positions. I'm afraid that may prove impossible. All interior passages are blocked. Do the suits hold up out there? With the solar shield failing, direct exposure would mean certain death. Well, I hate certain death. Spock, let's try to avoid direct exposure. Captain. I will offer whatever assistance I can over your communicator. But again, I fear that these efforts... Yeah, yeah, we get it. Certain death. Any other words of advice? Try to live long and prosper. should engage mag boots now, sir. The solar collector is failing. We must avoid direct exposure. That suit is gonna melt off your back. Get into cover, Spock. Captain, we should stay in cover until it regenerates. Got it. Wait for it. Go, now. our suits can handle. Whose idea was this anyway? I believe it was yours, sir. Right. Oh, take cover. Shutdown under these circumstances is highly risky. 
Gotcha. You should split up. That's the locking mechanism. If Spock can slow down the ring long enough, I can shoot. Now would be a good time to shoot the lock. The effect appears temporary. When the ring is stopped, that ring is exposed. Success, Captain. We must repeat the maneuver for the remaining rings. Stop the ring. Spock, shoot the lock. Another one down. Just one more ring to go. Spock, you think we can just shoot it open? This is falling apart! Let's find that stranded crew.
Captain, wait. This one is still alive. Quick, let's get him inside. Captain, life support is now at 4% and failing. Transporter is still unable to obtain a reliable signal. Let me worry about the transporter. Just get your people ready to beam out. What are you waiting for? I was speaking to my captain. It's all right, Commander. Do as he says. Aye, Captain. Ah, Captain. I don't believe we've met. I'm uh, James Kirk, captain of the USS Enterprise. And you are? I am in need of assistance, Captain. Tomorrow? Mr. Spock, it is a relief to see you here. Tomorrow, in what way can we assist you? Our station has experienced a complete loss of power. Our transporter functions are also unreliable. There does not appear to be a safe way to beam out. There's always a way. Scotty, think you can get a lock on me? I'll try, sir. What's going on down there, Captain? That was a wake-up call, Mr. Scott. I need you to work a little faster. On it, sir. We should make our way to the transporter, Captain. Oh, after you. So, how do you two know each other? We were classmates back on Vulcan. Just classmates. I realize this may be difficult for you to understand, Captain, but on Vulcan, relationships between the sexes do not automatically imply an intimate past. Another reason I'm glad I'm not a Vulcan. I've got manual law, Captain. Ready and waiting for transport. See? There's always a way. After you, Captain. I will not leave this vessel until my crew is safely out of danger. As a captain yourself, I'm sure you would do the same. I like this one. There are a few that you do not like, Captain. Prepare to energize. Thank you. Run! 